Hello my dear students, welcome to the channel. This is your Annapurna ma'am and I am doing this video after a long long time and I hope you will definitely like this video. I hope you all are doing wonderful out there. So students, today we are going to learn the story that is double game. Okay. And this lesson, this story is about the animals and somebody played the double game and the consequences of this double game was very bad. Okay. So children, it is believed that long long ago before any humans could appear on this earth could be seen, could come to the scene, the animals ruled the earth okay? and they all lived together happily and peacefully. Okay? But all of a sudden a war broke out okay? and the reason of this war was unknown to all. How it happened, when it happened, why it happened, nobody knows why this war started. But the war was on a serious matter. Okay? And children, so you all of you know that in a war, what happens? Many lose their lives the same happened here now in the war in this war two groups were created all the animals were divided into two groups that is all the animals were on one side and the birds all of the birds were in another group so two divisions were made and this was very clear animal group animals group and the birds group okay and children and the bats were left out the bats could not fit into any of the group neither they could fit into animal group nor in the birds group the bats were left alone okay now in this war every day the war would happen would take place and at the end of the war at the end of the day the animals would return to their camps and they would count their losses and their gains for that day and same with the birds they would return to their camps at the end of the day and they would count their losses and their gains their losses would be if more of the birds or the animals of the same group died and their gains would be if more of the the, the opposite group more of more number of the birds or animals died then that would be the gains of the, the opposite group so this happened and the and the war dragged on for many days now this bat these bats what they did because they never they didn't fit into any of the groups so on the winning day of the animals the leader of the bats he would set out on a secret mission the leader of the bats he would creep into he would enter quietly into the animals camp on the day when the animals won the war and he, he would pretend that he was very happy for the animals because many of the birds died on that day the gains were more for the animals so the bats would rejoice would be happy with the animals but the animals would look hard upon the bat, leader of the bat and ask them and ask uh, the, to the leader of the bat, why are you so happy? 
because you don't belong to our group. The leader of the bat would say, we belong, we bats belong to your group because see we have ears, we have noses, we also produce milk for our young ones. So that is why we belong to your group, the animals group. And somehow he would convince the animals that the bats belong to the animals group. And believing him, the animals made room for the bats and included the bats in their group. And the other side, the leader of the bats, again he would play the double game. Now he would again go to the birds camp. On the days when the birds won the war, when more of the more number of the animals would die, he would rejoice with the birds. We uh, we belong to your group. See, we have wings. We can fly. So we belong to your group. Let us all together kill the animals. Let us all kill the animals. Now the birds would uh, think, how come um, the bats belong to our group? The same thing would happen. The bat, the leader of the bat would try to convince the birds that, see, we have wings. We can fly. So we belong to your group. So that is how they, these bats, they played the double game. On both the sides, they would try to convince that they belong to the other group and let us kill the animals. That is how many animals, animals, birds, they lost their lives. Okay. So this was continuing, continuing. And one day, they all thought, all the animals, all the birds, they thought that if this would continue, if this war would go on, then definitely one day we all would die. And nobody would be um, there alive. So let us call for a meeting. Let us talk together. Let us sit together and talk and settle the terms of peace. Let us all try to live peacefully as before so they called for a meeting okay and they all came all the birds came all the animals came to the to attend the meeting and the meeting started now then the eagle flapped its wings and said in a raised voice it is sure it is a very bad that many of us died but at least we came to know that the bats belong to our group that is the bats belong to the birds group so at least we came to know that but the fox who is a very clever animal he came forward and said how come the bats belong to the animals group that is what the leader of the bats told to us and we have the bats in our group. Now then there was a general discussion, noise among the all the animals and the birds that the leader of the bats said on the both, both the sides that they belong to their group. Now the king of the forest, the king of the jungle, the king, the, the lion. He rode like a thunder and he said now it is very clear that the bats have been playing a double game. They were playing the double game and this made the war to drag on and many of us animals and birds have died for that reason. Now let us all call the bats here and just punish them now. Let us catch them let us punish them now by hearing this all the bats they just flew away they went into hiding and 
among the animals the birds in the meeting there was a loud noise um, always shouting there were cries of uh, traitors cheaters cheat catch them and punish them all all were crying for the bats to uh, catch them and kill them punish them what what happened all the bats they flew away and they went into hiding okay children so that is why it is believed that uh, till today the bats live as a separate group they are different from the birds and animals they fly very quickly at night and like shadows they just come and go and they hang on the trees upside down they live in the caves they hide they only come out at night they hide through the day they come out only at night when all the birds most of the birds and animals are asleep okay children so this is a beautiful story written by pratibha nath the famous writer and i hope you all have understood enjoyed the story about this bats the double game played by the bats and why the bats live as a separate group so children you don't forget to give your response in the comment section below and if you have like liked the video then please like and share so see you in my next video till then bye take care